Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel, or to the channel if you're new here, and to the number that comes after five <laughs> in my solo Minecraft series. If you're wondering why I have to say it like that, um, unfortunately CC is actually picking me up saying a word that I'm not, so I'm just gonna have to say the number after five. <laughs> I don't understand why, but I have to be careful, so... And that is why I'm saying it like that. So thank you for coming to check out the video. Thank you for all of the support on the previous videos. It really means a lot. And if you are enjoying this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm super excited for all of the adventures that we have planned for today. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Alrighty, so um, as you can see, there is now a little bee kind of area over here to get some honeycomb and some honey ready for some things that we need to make for a portal that I'd like to get done today to show you an absolutely beautiful dimension that I'd mentioned before and as well you know for other stuff that you need honey and honeycomb for <laughs> so they're busy working their little butts off getting some stuff ready for us so I'm super excited to grab some of that and get the waxed copper ready so I can show you how to make the portal that we're going to make um so that is plan number one I do have to go and get some amethyst and some amethyst clusters and stuff so we have to actually that that technically is number one because i need to go get clusters to be able to make this portal but it is so so cool to make and i can't wait to show you um i know there was a subscriber that i was talking to about this dimension so hopefully they'll watch this video and they can see it there's a beautiful sky i can't wait to show you now we don't have our wings yet because we haven't slain the ender dragon which by the way will be at the end of the video <laughs> um well, closer to the end of the video we're gonna do all that that fun fight there but um once we get those wings it'll be a lot easier to travel around this dimension but for now i'd like to get the portal made so i can at least get that set up and get that ready to go as well so there's lots planned for today i'm super excited um what else did i want to do oh yeah i wanted to go to the nether to um just grab some you know plants and stuff and get some exploring done and also i want to figure out what these guys eat I was looking on the mod page, but I couldn't quite figure it out, so I guess I'm just gonna have to trial and error it. Oh, I hear it. Where are you? Are you? <laughs> He's in with the cows. <laughs> He's got his little backpack over his head. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I love that so much. I think I show that in another video, but it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, little guy, you're so adorable. You want to come out? Nope, not you. Okay, well, I guess he lives in there with the cows for now. <laughs> um, I made some Skyris crafting tables as well, because the top of them are so freaking cute. Like, I love the purple. It's so pretty. So, um, I'm trying to think if I have anywhere underground with a, t uh, a teleporter. Oh my god, waystone. I don't think I do, so what I'm going to do is go here, and I think I already have like a little mine started over here, and that's where we did our original mine, and I actually kind of rearranged my villagers as well, so I, these are all um, librarians, and I put some Fletchers over here, because I definitely needed some more Fletchers to trade with, so yeah, these little buddies are over here, but this is not why we're here right now. We are going down here because I need to find amethyst. And if I remember correctly, they spawn at any Y level under like 70 something. So we're just going to have to use our mini map and see if we can find any because I need to use silky here. Oh, 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 I see one. Are you up or down? Hold on. If I go up, are you going to keep disappearing? Yes. Okay, so you're down a bit. So, I'm gonna go, th wait. Oh, you're like directly behind, okay. We're gonna go here, that was easy. I think I have enough copper. Are you below? Probably. Oh wow! That was, <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Okay. Just gonna do that. That. 
and make sure I don't break the budding ones. Oh, you do. Oh, because it, it's so close to my villagers, so I guess I was um, around the chunk. So that's perfect. Okay, so I need four amethyst clusters. So two, three, four. Perfect. And I'm actually going to add a waystone. That way we can get here easier when we need to. Perfect. That went a lot better than... <laughs> a lot quicker and a lot better than I was hoping for. So that's great. Now uh, we need to go check and see how much copper we have. So, a boop. Oh I don't know if I'm gonna have enough copper. Oh no. <gasps> we may have to take a detour. Oh no. How many blocks of copper can I make right now? Oh I'm not gonna have enough. No. Okay. Um, poop. All right, well, we're gonna have to take another detour and go get copper. I never, like, it, copper's one of those things that you just always have such an abundance of, and for whatever reason, I just don't have an abundance of it right now. Maybe I've, oh, did I screw this up? I put that on weird. Why does that look sideways? There we go. Um, yeah, so that's something we're gonna have to go get. Yeah, you guys keep making me... So this is enough to make... Okay, so I need four wax copper blocks and I need to make a bunch of wax cut copper for stairs. So... We may have to go back down to that little mining area. We're at 12. So if we go up a little bit... Oh, I turned around. Um, num, 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 num. Let's look at this way. And just vein mine until we find some. Okay, so after that little speed up there, I've come into this kind of like cave area and I'm guessing this is from Galosphere because I know it's meant to like make the underground look a lot cooler. So that actually does look quite interesting. We'll go over there in a second, but I can't forget why I'm on this adventure <laughs> to find copper. This is all iron. Oh, the copper's all the way up there. New. Um, I should have some blocks. And uh, if you're wondering, I mark where my torches are. That way I don't end up like the, the diamond torches. So I don't end up putting any too close. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is the cutest noise ever. Oh, there's two other amethyst. There's two other amethyst geodes over there too. That is so cute. Like you'd think I haven't played this pack a lot or something, but I have, and that's the first time I've heard those make noise. That's so cute. I think I've run into them once or twice before, but every single time I see them, it just makes me so happy. That was a weird lighting glitch, okay. Yeah, I'm getting some weird... Wait, oh no, it happens with noise or like walking. Cool. Whoa, see that I, I've not come across before. I guess I never really explored like the Galosphere stuff. I've only like just briefly looked at it. That's so cool. Whoa. 
new things discovering all the time or words <laughs> i'm discovering new things all the time wow that's better grab some of this sparkly stuff in this now i came here i did this whole thing for copper i think i have enough this dimension that i'm making this portal to once i can get there and get some wings like i'll never have to worry about copper or iron or gold again because they have these big like floating mountains and if you dig through them there's just pockets and pockets of iron and gold and uh, copper which is great but i do need the wings to get to them because they're i mean i could like block my way around but it would take f <laughs> I would take forever. Those are gonna be one of my new favorite mods, I swear. Um, but yeah, so let's go. That is a, uh, that, is that water? Yeah, that's water. Okay, whew. Grab that. Okay, I think we have enough now. So we'll actually put a waystone down here for the Galosphere stuff, and then we'll go up and make this copper. What am I going to name this? Gallo Underground. So we'll get that to cook and then we will make some more blocks of copper. I wonder if the bees actually have some more wax for me because I think I'm going to need a little bit more. Hopefully they haven't traveled too far away from home. Oh no, <laughs> it's a whole party. Oh, I don't think I have this chunk loaded though. Do I? I know I have the farm chunk loaded so I'll just add these two. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much lag. And I'll let them do their thing. Oh, we got some cows ready too, but I have enough burgers for the moment. I'll give those a little bit more time. Um, I'll empty these and I'll be right back. All right, so we got lots of copper. I need to go get some more beeswax, or... Is that... <laughs> I'm having one of those days where I'm calling things things, and I'm just like, is that what it's called? Hmm. Uh, still... Oh, one there. Come on, make more honey for me, please. And then we'll do wax cut copper. I don't even have enough for the stairs right now. So while we wait for the bees to do their thing, oh, there's one there. Okay. Oh, this one changed colors. Cute. Oh. I heard dripping of honey. Did I not? I swear I did. I did. Here it is. Um, wax. I'm so close. <laughs> so close. We're almost there. Maybe we will wait. And then once the wax is done, I'll come back. <laughs> so we've got our one block of gold, 12 wax cut copper stairs. Uh, well, 13, but we need 12 wax blocks of copper, uh, four blocks of amethyst, four amethyst clusters, and flint and steel. So let's go make this portal. And then I will show you how freaking cool it looks. For anyone who hasn't played this mod anyways. So. Thunk. And then you go... Like a so. And then you go like a so. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Thought I did it wrong, but I didn't. And then you go... Boop. A boop. A boop. 
And then you put one there of your amethyst blocks. One there, one there, and then amethyst cluster, amethyst cluster, amethyst cluster. I'm not going to try to say that the fourth time because I could already feel, feel myself <laughs> screwing it up. Now, <laughs> excuse me. When you do make this, you have to be 100% sure it's the amethyst clusters, which are the fully grown ones. So it won't say like small, medium, or large. It'll just be amethyst cluster. Those are the important ones to look out for. And then you take your flint and steel. Look at how it looks now. It, you know, looks cute, but basic. And then you go, boop. Now, how freaking cool does that look? It didn't make a noise when you when I lit it, but I don't really think it does. But look at how cool that looks. It changes the pillars. Um, it's just, oh, I think our little cow friend here is going to go into the dimension before I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let me go put this stuff away. And then we'll go in there and hopefully we get a decent, like, spawn so I can kind of, like, walk around for a bit. All right. Let's, uh, boogie on in, shall we? Do I have my waystones? I do. It's, sometimes it'll take a minute. You can still move around. Just got to give it a second. Don't panic if you go in. Oh, we spawned in in the... It's kind of like the water, water tree area. So it's daytime right now. So obviously you're not going to see the sky that I'm talking about. You see the cute little clouds and stuff that they made, but... Let it load in a little bit. So these floating islands over here, you see all of like the copper. Now those trees are little devils, they'll zap you, so you got to be really careful, but... Yeah, there's all these, like, um, giant floating things, <laughs> and inside of them is so much ore. But again, I'm not going over there right now. Don't worry, these little guys are not uh, hostile or anything. They're pretty cool. Just fly around. Uh, but yeah, we actually spawned in a good spot because we're not getting attacked by trees. Because <laughs> the last time I spawned in here, those zappy brain coral trees, like... Not brain coral, but whatever they're called. Zappy brain thing trees. They were attacking me right away. So yeah, um, this is Eden Ring. I want to stand here for just a moment until it gets dark so I can show you guys the really, really cool sky. I'm pretty sure I turned off. So in my shader, I have to make sure I turn off the overlay for the Minecraft sun and the moon so it shows up. But yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Once uh, it starts to hit night, we'll come back and I will show you. So I am a derp and I had it turned off. <laughs> so you have to keep the, the overlay on, <laughs> which means you don't get the round sun or anything like that. But that's fine because you do end up seeing the really cool resource packs, guys, that are added in the mod pack. Um, so it's still daytime, so you can't really see the full nighttime thing, but you can see the little moon over there or the sun. I can't, I can't tell which one it or sorry. The, yeah, that's the sun because that's the moon. So Eden Ring has this like really cool custom moon and like galaxy thing going on. So when it gets extra dark, you'll get to see just how cool it looks. All right, so I do have a mod in here that is a flight mod that uses hunger. Um, I only added it for building purposes, but I'm going to turn it on right now. Just so we can fly around and take a look at the sky. I might have to turn my HUD on so I can see my food gets low, but just look at this. Look at how absolutely stunningly beautiful. I have to go up a little higher. How beautiful this is. There's like a ring around it's like is it a planet maybe i'm not sure but see all these little moons around it and this kind of galaxy and oh my gosh it's by far one of my favorite skies there's a really cool like nighttime sky as well um in the overworld at night so hopefully it'll be nighttime when we get back so i can show you that but yeah that's the eden ring 
dimension in the the sky that I wanted to show you. But we will definitely come back here and uh oh, I think I flew up too high. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go back down to the portal. There we go, we'll turn that off. So yeah, um, for anyone that's gonna be like, oh, it's cheating, it's like Creative Flight. It is a little bit like Creative Flight, except you get super hungry super fast. And I only added it to be able to build and all that stuff, so... Yeah, that's the only time that it gets used. And other than right now to show you the sky, but oh my gosh, that's so, so beautiful. I can't wait to come explore this when we have our wings. So yeah, back we go. <gasps> okay, it is nighttime. Look at this. Look at the sky. <laughs> I turned um, on the overlay because usually I just use the shader skies, but look at this. How absolutely stunning is that? I'm not sure if that's from the shaders adding galaxies or not. It might be. Hold on. Okay. So yeah, that might be from the galaxies from the shader pack. I'm not sure. It could be a mixture of both, but either way, look at how freaking cool that looks. It might be the galaxies from the shader pack, actually, because I did see them in the um, in Eden Ring as well. So it's very possible. But either way, if you guys have complimentary shaders, turn on the galaxies because this is what you get to see at night. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And of course, you got to see the Eden Ring sky as well. So that you have to make sure that your vanilla overlay is on for any type of like mod pack resource pack stuff. But oh, I love it. I love it so much. There's so many just really pretty things. So, now we need to go figure out what these little guys eat. I'm not 100% sure if they... Is there giraffes? So would they eat fruit? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Maybe apples? Let's bring some carrots too. Let's go see. I'm just going to leave it nighttime because I have uh, magnum torches around here, so... I'm not too worried about uh, baddie spawning. Let's see what these guys eat. Oh! <laughs> I just forgot I had a saddle on this guy. Oh, maybe not. Can we not feed you guys? What about you? Oh! <gasps> okay, so confirmed the Trovers eat carrots. Oh my god, let's see what the baby looks like! <laughs> Oh my god, it's so tiny! Oh, oh, I thought he was standing on him. Oh my gosh, okay, so confirmed the Trovers eat carrots. Um, I don't know how to feed these guys though, because you just end up hopping on them. Huh, what if I, no? No? Oh, he's tame too, okay, well, um, hmm. Would they eat wheat, maybe? Let's go grab some wheat and see if they eat that. That's so cool, they eat carrots. <laughs> Trover baby. Oh my god, I love it. Let's see if they eat this. You want wheat? Or are you just gonna make me sit on you? Dang it. No, I don't think there's a way, I don't think there's a way to feed these guys. Unless there's something in here. Um I don't think there is. Nope. I don't think we can breed the giraffes, unfortunately, but we can breed the trovers, which is pretty cool. So that, that mystery is half solved, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna head over to the nether and kind of go around there for a little bit. And then we will get ourselves ready for the end dragon fight. Now, um, because I'm not that geared, I'm going to be doing the fight strictly with a bow, which is probably gonna take a, a minute, you know, cause the world isn't hard, so 
it'll take a bit for me to get the the crystals down which because i don't like to climb up the back of the the what are they called pillars or whatever especially not having super strong feather falling on my boots because yeah that's just death <laughs> for now let's go over to the nether i should probably bring some blocks um i don't want to use cobblestone so i'm going to trade that with the little guys so i guess i'll just bring some netherrack Wait, where's my bow? Uh-oh. Right, you're screamy butt over there. Ooh, I do need to turn down block sounds as well. Ooh, nice shot. Look at that. Um, It's blocks when the trees break, I'm pretty sure, right? Let's turn it down just a little bit and turn this down just a little bit as well. And that wasn't too loud. I'm gonna grab a bunch of this because this is the wood that I absolutely love. Such a beautiful, like, clear white. What? Oh my gosh, you scared! <laughs> Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of the stems now. Grab a little bit more, and I do want to get those blue trees. Hey. <laughs> those blue trees as well if I can find them. They should be around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, they're back here. Here. Oh, that's a drop and a half. Okay, so these here make the absolute coolest looking... Wait, why is it not... Oh, is it because you have to do it here? Wait, what? Or do I have to make the plank? Ah, there we go. I have to make the plank first. Look at look at that blue. That's so crazy. And then this one here. I love how that goes straight into a plank, but the other one I have to do like two steps. Look at how pretty that mushroom plank is. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is this? Blast protection? No, thank you. So I'll put all this in the backpack. I don't need to keep getting any more of that right now. All right, which way do we want to go? Let's see. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in the nether to explore. There's just so many cool things added, so many cool structures added. Um, This is all willow stuff here. Oh, wait, did I bring my potions with me? Uh-oh. I probably should go get my potions. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh. I forget where my portal is. Eh. Down here somewhere? Uh oh. Okay, so there's the thing that was really big that I almost fell down. Okay. A show. That should be. Over here? Question mark? Yeah, there you are. All right. Let's go get the potions. All right, we're back. There we go. I should probably try to get Hellstrider on my boots at some point. Or is it? Or Lava Walker. I can't remember which one it is, but it helps you like swim through lava quicker, so. So which way do we want to go? I kind of want to go over there. But... Mm. Wait, where's my nether rack? Oh, there it is. Ouch! Okay. That hurt a little bit. Oh my god, no! <laughs> What is going on on my screen? Stop it. What's in here? Oh, is this one of those like temples with the 
wither skeletons? Please have wither skeletons so I can get some skulls. But What's in here? What's in here? Is it? Maybe it's a different one? There's something below? What? Oh, hello. Isn't there a spawner in here somewhere? Oh, is this one just like empty? Oh, there's no spawner in this one. Well, okay. So, oh, that looks cool. Chiseled soul sandstone. A little face is on it. How do I get out of here? Okay, well, uh, yeah, it would be nice if they, you know, have a boat for lava or something, but that uh, didn't work out very well, so... Oh, dang it. Well, now we're stuck in the middle of a lava pit. <laughs> oh, wait, I have a, a thingy on. Right, right, right. Oh. Well, it's probably a good thing that I have that potion because I just missed my jump. Oh, 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 oh. So these give purple dye as well, I think. Yeah. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff here. Ancient debris, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Don't need any stairs. All right. So we're gonna have to, oh, okay, I see, I see. So we need to go up higher because anything down here is gonna be literally in the lava. So. How many plants in my way? Um, excuse me? Did that just put it up? <laughs> Put it above my head. Oh, oh, no! Man, I am having a day today. Just landed in a giant mushroom. All right, let's go up a little bit more. See, that's the thing with the nether. The only thing that drives me bonkers is, oh my gosh, there's so many elevations. Oh, hello. Peekaboo. Bye. <laughs> uh, which way did we just that way? I don't really want to like pillar my way across right now. That's a lot of pillaring. So let's go this way. Just want to find some cool structures, you know? We can go explore those. Oh. So many like um netherrack like what are these called? Gorgeous bits? I don't know what to call them, but they're huge. Oh I don't know why I'm panicking. I have potion on. Again, still <laughs> probably gonna forget that quite frequently. I'm just absolutely panicking when there's lava. I'm gonna put a marker. Oh no, the laments over there though. That really cool like purple and blue wood. And then there's the, mm, maybe we should have gone that way. Um, Let's go north and then east actually. So I wanna go and put a waystone over where the lament is. So north, north, north is north and then we go east this stuff's really cool too you can light it with a flint and steel and it makes green flames looks really really cool i mean obviously you can see that but i mean really it looks really cool in builds um so a little more north Hi. Oh no! Remember? 
remember the last episode when I said I just get spaced out while I'm doing that and then I fall? Yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect example. Alright, so these guys here are really cool too. They're like giant um, lava squids or something and they're pretty like docile but if you um, if you hit them with a bow they explode and good grief do they do a lot of damage I just want to get over there so I can put a waystone down then we can go find some structures I do miss the um, vein miner from FTP where you can actually set like the kind of vein mining you want to do like you know straight tunnel or like stairs or whatever but there's a lot of give and take from going from forge to fabric but I honestly don't think I could ever go back to forge after playing on fabric especially playing this many mods and still getting really good FPS and pretty decent gameplay and recording at 1080p like yeah I don't think I could ever go back to forge definitely not Yeah, so there's the fortress. Unless that's a spawner. Oh, it's a spawner! Hello! Oh, my bags are completely full. And my potion is done because I've been mining for a little bit. It'll probably be sped up for you guys, but. And we go again. Aha! Okay, I found it. After oodles and oodles of digging, but like you can see why like, this wood is so pretty. <laughs> so we're going to, let's see. I'd like to put one kind of in the middle here of this kind of like poisonous jungle. So I don't have to use two. Now getting over there might be a bit tricky. A little more digging. Oh, maybe not. Ouch. Probably be a bunch of baddies in here somewhere. I have to remember that I don't have wings. <laughs> don't go jumping off the edge. Oh boy. Um. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what it is, but it's got a guardian in there, so we might have to do a little scouting and see what's in there. I am not going to make that jump, so we're just going to go disease. And then go like this. All right. And then go up here. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Well, those are poisonous. Okay, so we're gonna put a waste down here. And there's a limit on these, so. Go. All right. Okay, so that's got, wow, that's got a lot of wither skeletons in it. <gasps> I wonder if I can get my withers. Oh, jeez, that's huge. This up in the top here. Okay, I want to go here because I want to try and go and get. I need six wither skeleton skulls because I need three for the wither, and then I need um 
another star to make the spawner. No, actually, I need to do the wither twice because I need another spawner or another Jesus words. Another star for the spawner, but then I need another star for the the um beacon that I need to make the or is it the beacon for the spawner? It might be the beacon for the spawner. But then I need another another <laughs> star either for the egg or something like that. I don't know. I just know I need six skulls. I can't remember the recipe, but that's why this is really like kind of like later on in the game because you have to do all of this to get the the wither spawn egg. And it takes a long time. Like it sounds like it might not take a long time, but it does. Because these buggers just do not want to drop anything. I wouldn't really say we're super late game. Like, I mean, normally I have the end dragon down pretty quickly in a solo world, but you know, it's, an, it's a series. So you kind of don't want to do it that quickly. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to get them. But I'm hoping that looting will be good to me. How am I going to get over there, though, without absolutely just demolishing myself in this lava? Okay, well, uh, I know I have a fire potion on, but knowing me, I'll fall directly into this lava and the potion will run out. <laughs> Another really cool thing um, with the fishing mod in this game, the Go Fish mod, is that if you fish in the lava in the nether, you get some pretty cool chest stuff, so I'll definitely have to do that at some point. I really want that uh, that purple nether rack. It's really pretty. There's so many cool blocks. I'm just like, oh, okay, I need this block. I need this block. I need this block. Um, I want to get close, but I don't want to get to the point where that guardian can just yeet me into oblivion. <laughs> words yeet me into oblivion so purple so pretty oh, i love it oh i can hear them i can hear you oh man i'm probably gonna die but you know what Oh wait, is that like a platform over there? Maybe I should go to the platform and not directly into like the pit of death. That might be a good idea. I'm just trying to avoid this like super poisonous area because these trees are great and they're really pretty and I love building with them, but... Oh, they hurt. Not Well, the trees don't hurt. The stuff around the trees hurts. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a guardian. Stay in your holes, sir. Okay. So, is that a platform? I think that's a platform. Is that a spawner? No. Okay. I hear you, stinkies. Ooh. And they're like, yeah, we see you. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> Good practice for the... Uh... <laughs> The crystals in the end. Okay. Ouch! 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 That's poison! That's poison! That's poison! Owie, owie. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, there's a lot of holes in this. A fortress? A citadel? Another citadel. Now that is something I've not come across. There's a lot of holes in this. And uh, I guess if you guys, you know, have been watching my episodes, you know that me and holes in this game don't mix. Potion, 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 oh my gosh. Stinky. Okay, okay, okay. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. Oh, those are so terrifying sounding. Ouch. Am I getting 
like thorns or something? Why are you not going down? Why are your little things not spinning anymore? Whew. Okay. Oh, did I? <laughs> I hit him so hard he teleported through the wall. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Where'd you go? I'm just happy we got that stupid guardian down. Um. Do I have to go up somehow? I don't, I've never been in one of these. I'm a little curious though, because like, there's no stairs or anything. Um. I'm assuming if I try to dig up, I'm gonna get lava in the face, which seems about right. Considering I see drippies everywhere. Did I just, <laughs> I just pressed R to reload my, I've been playing a lot of seven days to die, okay? <laughs> I just, re just reloaded my shaders. I was like, why did it lag? <laughs> oh yeah, that's why. Uh, okay, so they're up higher. You can't have a name as epic as Citadel and not have anything. Wait, where's my netherrack? And not have like anything. Why can't I not put a, oh. Oh. <gasps> a baby! You're so cute! But you wanna hurt me, so baby! Okay. There has to be some goodies here, right? Like, am I just doing this for no reason, or...? Like, is there something upstairs? Oh my gosh, I just did the same thing. Genius. You're a genius. Are you stuck? There we go. Okay, there's a whole buttload of nether warts. Where's all the wither skeletons that were here? Were they down below? Because like I, I could see them when I was down on a certain level, so maybe it's no, but this thing was floating, so Oh man, I came over here for the wither skeletons. Go well, skulls and the wither skeletons. Not fair. The whole reason I came here. I guess I'll take some nether wart. Oh, hum. <laughs> okay, well, this. They have to be somewhere, right? Because I came from the bottom, and when I was down there, I saw them spawn. So they have to be below, but that doesn't make sense because it's all lava below. And I'm a thousand percent sure there's nothing up here. Yeah. So what the heck? Well, down we go, I guess. Where's our other little thing that we came up in? Here. No? Wait. Oh, here. And then we came up here. I see more of those guys. Wait, so does it go- oh, it does go down more. Oh, there they are. Okay, 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 okay. All right, hold on. Oh. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a waystone down. 
sure that works. Because it's very possible that we're going to not survive this. So we're gonna go down. We got our waist down here. Hopefully, hopefully. How much longer do we have? 128. So maybe I will just. Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. don't like you. Oh my gosh, I thought you were something else. I should probably go back and make more potions. But. Mm. Nope, yeah, we're gonna go make some potions. Hold on. Traded with a little goblin villager that showed up, and now we are ready. Where's the other one? I know you're in here, stinkies. Ooh, this is actually a really good place to go down. But whatever, that works, I guess. Now, are there spawners here? What is this? Lava cauldrons. Okay. Is there anything in here? No. Oh my gosh, I forgot to empty the bags. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I guess we'll just dump everything in here for now. Didn't intend for this to be an adventure in the, in the nether as well, but that's all right. We'll just do the citadel and then we'll go and take care of the ender dragon. And sort all this stuff after. Um, it says there's more over here, but I have a feeling they're outside. Maybe? Whoa! Don't jump, Creo. Oh, jeez. Oh! This is like a setup for the... Oh! I guess it's like, oh, this is a good place to fight the wither. Yeah, no. I have a more cheesy place to fight the wither. So, we're gonna go home, I'm gonna empty my bags, and then we will head over to, um... To the dragon. I will come back when I'm done emptying. Alrighty, folks. It's that time. I oh, should just scratch myself. <laughs> I'm gonna try my very best to uh, get everything down as quickly as possible, but we'll see how she goes. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I do this all the time. I don't know why. I forget to bring blocks to pillar across from that one little floaty island, which is really, really silly. No, one sec, please hold. All right. <laughs> I think I'm ready now. <laughs> oh, this always makes me nervous. And it makes you fall into oblivion. Oh my God. Well, oh, jeez. Okay, which way is the island? All right, there it is. makes me so nervous it's floating in the in the abyss hopefully we'll find one of those void totems at some point because i would love to have that i think i have her turned down enough that she's not going to be too loud and i have end veil on so i can concentrate on getting those um getting the crystals down without irritating any endermen. You already shooting stuff at me? Ouch. I'll take it as a yes. Oh, I didn't bring any bottles with me. Man, I am just 
Making all kinds of dumb moves today. Oh well, we're gonna have to come back and resummon her, I guess, because can't go back now, unfortunately. I do want to um, get some more nether stars to make the thing that connects to the waystones so I don't have to like find the waystones. But yeah, let's get this fight going. I'm gonna try to stay. Ooh, that was louder than I thought it was gonna be. All right, let's get her done. Well, ma'am, you kind of got in my way there. Hello? What? Oh, it's because I'm not pulling. There we go. I was like, I should absolutely be able to hit those. Can you stop flying in front of me? Thank you. I'm sorry, I don't mean to take your crystals. Those super high ones are going to be a pain in my butt, though. That one. Just right there. Oh my gosh, these high ones are going to be a real pain. Where's she brought ladders? Oh, ma'am! Can you knock it in my way? and then oh I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit that <laughs> she was like stay away from my crystals there's that one and I think there's only that really tall one left oh man I hate this one it's like my nemesis Wait, did I get you? Oh, I got it! Now it's just having to shoot her. If I can. This is the part we're probably gonna have to speed up because it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> I could hit her at all. So I'm not gonna go under her with a sword because. I will get absolutely clobbered. feel so bad she's just trying to fly around and you know live her best life you know bully the enderman come on oh my gosh Just wait till she's not that high up. You get down here. <laughs> get your flappy butt down here. There's no crystals up there, sweetie. I'm sorry. Right, you can tell it's gonna be one of those. How did I not hit you? You're right in front of me. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, 
The Enderman are after you. Get them go! <laughs> oh, it's so funny watching them run around like that. Majestic. Please don't die over there. Look at the <laughs> chasing her around. Oh my gosh. I keep falling off the little ledge. Man, if I could stop being so bad, it would be great. Please don't die right over the dragon's breath. I have to wait till you go over here. been stolen from I'm supposed to get five all right well that was the dragon fight i'm gonna leave the egg there for now so it didn't take as long as i thought it was going to all right so let's go and find the little portal thingamabobber i don't remember where i saw it i saw it like shoot up little beams that it does but i don't remember what side it was on oh i think it's over here there's like a little dot on the mini map so let's see might be over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, of course it's. Ay, all right. Don't jump off the edge. <laughs> it looks like. Um, I think I might be one over. Now, hopefully, we won't end up in a biome with those hogs because, oh my gosh, they are so painful. It's so much, it, it's less about the, um, the strength of their hit, but their knockback is just awful. Oh, I was still too far over. There we go. All right. Oh, too high. Oh, too low. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm in like my literal favorite biome of this entire friggin' mod. Okay, so these umbrella trees are so much fun. They're bouncy and they're pretty. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I can oh, I'm so excited. I love this friggin' mod so much. Okay, gotta calm down, calm down. <laughs> so this, these are the umbrella trees, so. Oh, a little jellyfish, okay. We need to get down. Oh yeah, I can use water in the end, can't I? Um, I'm just gonna move my, um, what that sound? Boing, 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 boing. All right, so let's see, where are we? Do we have any eyes on anything? Okay, so there's the Aurora crystals. This, oh, it's only a very small, I think I might just grab some of the umbrella saplings because I'm not going to, oh, I can, I can just jump. What am I doing? These are so much fun, I love them. Um Ouch! Okay, apparently these ones are bouncy, but ouch. Not as bouncy as the other ones. Okay, so the Aurora crystals are things I like to build with for light, so I don't see any hogs. I know I said I was gonna explore the the end of the next one, but we'll do a little bit of exploring before the end of this episode, because we still got a little bit of time. 
Let's grab some of these jelly shroom trees. And some of the jelly shroom caps. Um, I need some of the mushrooms though, because we can get the saplings. And then we're gonna go over here and grab these big boys. I don't know if that's gonna end up breaking the whole tree or not. Why is my tree- oh, there we go. Let's see, these big trees tend to make it a little, uh... Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go up top to get a sapling. Oh, poop. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because they're so big, you have to break the, um... The actual, like, membrane to get the saplings. So let me just go up there real quick. I want to get one of these. Oh, and then these trees here. These, like, glowy lights and stuff on them. Those are really cool to build with as well. I forget what they're called. Because I know there's a mixture of Better End and Oh, the Biomes you'll go in this. Alright, so let's see. Do I need to use this? Wait, does that have... No. How do I get your... How do I get your saplings? I forget. Um... Oh, see that's what happens. They like they explode out like that. <laughs> um So if I use my axe, I have silk touch on it, so it's just gonna end up breaking the block. Dang it. Um I think I might have Ubered myself over with that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Silly. Do it like this. Oh, 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 there they are. Okay, we're good. Boing, boing. All right, so we got what we wanted there. Perfect. These trees, are, oh my gosh. So I used to make these like big storage areas and I would put the storage underneath the, um, like a clear kind of roof with this membrane. Oh, not clear, but see-through roof. And you could see all the the cool trees above and all like the glowing when you were like down below in like the storage it looked so cool if i can find a picture of it if i took a picture of the last one that i made i'll get uh mr editor pants to put it up on the on the screen for you here but i'll have to see if i can find one all right so let's go this way and try to find one of the the boats so there's a lot of different boats in this so there's like the actual like normal boats which are actually kind of like changed up a bit they look really neat but there's also like crashed ones and stuff that you can get the uh the void totems in which is goal number one for me because as soon as i get to one of the, like the other boats <laughs> i'm probably gonna get like smacked into oblivion so i don't know if anyone here or some of you might have seen my first episode but i was talking about how some of the wood has been changed so these um aether like trees they used to have the inside the log it used to be like this green but for whatever reason oh wait yeah you can see it's like blue which doesn't match the leaves at all anymore so i really wish they would change it back to that green this is the one that bothered me the most because it was such a pretty green almost like a like a teal green and it went really well with the leaves but now it's just like it just doesn't go anymore other than that, it's a really beautiful tree. Alright, so there's some Shulkrin. How much time do we have? Okay, we got a little bit of time to explore. Alright, so. Endermites have been dying because I got some powder. Um, we're going to have to pull our way across over here somewhere. I guess we can go over here. Well, I can hear you, you little stinkies. Maybe we don't have to pull. Oh, slightly. There's like a little gap. Teeny weeny little gap. Jumpable? Um, I am not going to risk that.
Don't want to lose all these wonderful levels. All right. I should put a waystone here, though, just in case. So, oh, there's one of those fort hog thingy mabobbers. Where's my um, my bow? Hello, game? Can I get my bow, please? You guys have the worst knockback ever! Be super careful of them, because they'll come out of nowhere! <laughs> Alright, so we'll go put one over here in the Shulgrim. Oh, there's a down ship! Perfect! All right. Just there. Nothing useful. There should be a chest over here somewhere. Oop, right here. I think that's it for the show. Oh, nope. Sometimes they have one, sometimes they have two. So it's really good just to break it down and look. Lock, compass, piercing, aqua. So we have all this stuff. Don't think there's any more. I could be wrong. Just gonna break through all this to look. Well, no, um. Oh, wait. There's another. Wait. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right. So we're going to go, ooh, this way. I think I see, is it Tenna, Tenania? Tenania? Those pink trees. I think after all this time of me playing this this uh, mod, you'd think I wouldn't know the name of it. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the saplings for those. For those uh, other trees that I mentioned. But this isn't a find sapling uh, adventure. This is a trying to find elytra adventure. So I'll put... Is that... Wait. Am I thinking of the wrong one? Oh, Imperius. That's okay. Yeah. So that's an other biomes of go biome. And then this over here is better and so pretty so 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 pretty oh perfect okay so this stuff up here is um what we're gonna need to make gunpowder for rockets instead of having to make a creeper farm so sulfur and brimstone so sulfur we need from the brimstone to make um gunpowder so you just put it into water and it'll actually grow sulfur which you mix with coal and i believe bone meal and you can get sulfur from that so we're gonna put a waste down down over here between the is it tenania ten ten yeah tenania tenania okay i don't like how that looks that makes me a little nervous there might be a drop down there I'm gonna fall into oblivion. So pretty. Um, are there any hogs over there? Because there's usually hogs over there. I know. Oh, and a ship. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna go. Sulfur. Ten. See. This brown stuff isn't what we need. We need the yellow stuff, but I'll go grab some of that in a minute. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, well, I guess our uh, searching for Elytra just ended because we just got some Elytra, so I forgot these can actually spawn Elytra. Or maybe I mentioned it and it's like super rare. I don't remember what I said, but I do know that it's very, very, very uncommon to find them in there. All right. Well, we got our wings. Now we just need to go and uh, get some sulfur set up in the lake at our house so we can grow some stuff to make rockets. Oh my god, I'm so excited because that opens up Eden Ring for next episode. That That's pretty... Yep. I'm, <laughs> I'm a happy girl. <laughs> so we're going to grab a bunch of this. And then before I end, I'm going to go and set it up in the river at our house. So we can grow some sulfur. And then we have to get these enchanted as well. Okay, so let's go back over to the, the um, waist down. And that actually is really good too, so I can show you guys around. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. No, 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 no. See how I say they come out of nowhere? So I can show you around. Oh, that's the wrong one. I can show you around the ends and show you some of the pretty biomes and stuff without uh, having to trip and fall over blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna empty this and I will be right back. Okay, so just while I'm putting things away, I was looking at these warthog shell pieces. I had no idea you could turn those into netherite. Okay, so that's really freaking cool because what I was gonna mention about netherite is that when you make your gear into netherite, and you use one of the dragon scales, you can turn it into dragon armor. And then if you mix the dragon armor, um, the dragon scale and turn it into dragon armor, and if you combine it with an elytra, you can actually make like, let me see if I can show you here. I don't think I have enough pieces right now. You can turn it into um, a winged dragon scale chest plate, which it barely loses durability. So hold on, actually, oh no, I don't think I have, I need one more piece of netherite to make one and I could have done the chest plate. Oh no. Do I really want to go and get some? Oh, now I'm like super like, oh, I really, really want to go get one more piece of um, <clears throat> netherite made. Oh man. Cause you need four, right? Four and four gold, I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you need four. Oh, do I want to take a slight detour and go and oh, I really want to make that dragon chest plate. Ooh. All right, slight detour. We're going to go to the nether. Let me get those potions. I really, really want to make that dragon chest plate. Hold on, hold on. Grab one of these. We need to go to a super low point because it's not going to take much. We think we need what? Four pieces of ancient debris? Oh, do I have time? Okay, yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. We'll do the sulfur thing next episode because I mean, it's just putting it in water. It's not that big of a deal. Um, where was one that was close? I think this is pretty close, because we're at 71. So we just need to keep going down. Oh, actually, 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 because this is already underground. Where is it? The nether? Yeah, here. OK, so we're already pretty much in the ground here. So let's find a section that keeps going into the ground. And we'll just keep going down. I'm just gonna block this off so nothing comes and surprises me. And we're just gonna vein mine like crazy until we find what we want. Because I really wanna make that dragon chest plate. diamond one right yeah 
Okay, so we're at 39. So if I keep going this way. I don't want to vein mine just yet because there's a lot of little lava spots. Like that. Okay, we're at 23. Should be good to vein mine around here. Don't want to be near the black stone. Um, I'm not going to empty my bags because I normally make like a filter. Actually, I'm gonna switch this though. Oops. I'm gonna switch this because I'll make like a my own little filter, but I'm not gonna be doing this for that long. I'll just do like little pieces. I'm just here to find, oh, I think I'm too low. Just a little bit. And if another guy ever shows up, a little nether trader, he'll actually trade you, I think like a few pieces for four or five. Whoops. <gasps> Hello. Oh my gosh. Magnet, please. Oh. Oh. This is why I usually... There we go. So I got three. So... I think we're good. Stick this in the furnace. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's such a good way to end the video. I'll reorganize all this stuff afterwards. So we're gonna take, oops, we're gonna take this off. Then we're gonna grab, oh, I keep forgetting I switched the bag. Then we're gonna grab one of these and we're gonna grab our elytra. We're gonna grab these. I don't have a smithing table, do I? Poop. Okay, I gotta make that real quick. What do I need for that again? Planks and iron. Okay, so that's... Oh, wait, nope. Wrong order. That's... That's... <gasps> it's so cute look at the wings let me take the backpack off the whole set looks so cool too i'm so excited oh my god look at the back <laughs> i'm so happy right now all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today was so much fun. I had a great time just going around adventuring and finally getting the Ender Dragon down. So that was that was great. Um, we will definitely continue the end adventure next episode. So keep an eye out for that. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.